Hong Kong is a fantastic, dynamic, cosmopolitan city. So if you look at the city, I mean, I think the art scene here is real. You have galleries and museums and non-profits and, and you have a community of supportive patrons. Look at here where we are right now. I mean, there's, you know, audience continue to come. There's a curiosity for art. And for us, we feel like this is really just the most perfect location in the sense for us to call home. Some of my favourite works are in Exit Gallery, the MC Gallery, Edouard Malang. There's just too many. The one showcase this year that is special is the Hong Kong artist in the show. If you look at around this week especially, which is sort of like the art week in May, and outside of the convention centre, you know, there's so many wonderful exhibitions that are being staged, not only by our non-profits, whether it's Ai Gun or Hong Kong Art Centre or the Museum of Art, but also by our galleries itself, really trying to, all of us trying to come together to, you know, to give Hong Kong that special moment this week. I think the uniqueness of Hong Kong art scene is always allowing for diversity. Hong Kong is also such a melting pot of so many different cultures. It's not just about the homegrown talents, but it's also about foreigners and others who have chosen to call Hong Kong home, like myself. Bringing us together into one community has always been very, very special. And I think when M Plus and the whole entire West Kowloon development is ready, along with the Palace Museum and the theatres, it is going to really, truly remind the world that Hong Kong is a cultural art hub, and it's always been.